there. I'm Nadia Savalieva, one of the product managers here at Ohio Lumex Company. We are a top distributor for the PyroScience optical sensors in the United States and Canada since year 2015. In this presentation, I'm going to give a brief overview of two alternative oxygen measurement technologies and illustrate the advantages that optical sensors offer in comparison to their electrochemical counterparts. Capable of accurately measuring oxygen at low levels, PyroScience optical oxygen sensors are an effective and affordable alternative to the traditional electrochemical sensors. That is why optical sensors are quickly becoming the popular go-to solution in many fields where oxygen measurement is a key parameter. Some of the industries and applications include, but are not limited to, photosynthesis studies, microprofiling, microfluidics, hat space gas measurement, respiration, and underwater studies. In the last decade, the sensors have been widely utilized in the laboratories, various process environments, as well as many field measurement applications around the world. Our optical oxygen sensors are based on the principle of fluorescence quenching and rely on the light intensity measurement versus chemical reaction in electrical signal measurement. In electrochemical sensors, oxygen permeates through the sensor membrane and undergoes a chemical reduction reaction, which produces an electrical signal proportional to the concentration of oxygen in the sample. During this type of measurement, oxygen gets consumed in the process, which means that more sample is required to continue testing. On the other hand, no oxygen consumption occurs in the optical sensor. Here, the polymer membrane contains a special luminescent dye that glows bright when exposed to a light source in the absence of oxygen. When oxygen molecules are present in the sample, they collide with the dye molecules and quench their luminescence before transmitting back to the detector. The effect is called quenching. The more oxygen in the sample, the less is getting back, and no sample is consumed. Because the electrochemical sensor consists of electrodes and requires polarization to operate, certain types need several minutes of warm-up time before testing can begin. In comparison, there is no such downtime with optical sensors. They readily perform detection upon start, providing unprecedentedly low response times from a few seconds down to fractions of a second in special cases. Thanks to the versatile design of optical technology, these sensors can easily be miniaturized, opening opportunities to many applications not attainable using electrochemical sensors. The possibility of contactless and long-term field measurements are other unique attributes of optical sensors. When it comes to maintenance, there are quite a few components that electrochemical sensors require to be taken care of. For example, the electrolyte solution periodically runs out and needs refilled. On top of that, the sensor membranes wear out, requiring replacement. In addition, electrochemical sensors must be calibrated before every use. With optical sensors, the only cause of maintenance stems from the luminescence dye potentially bleaching out and degrading with time. In our experience, these sensors last from a million to a few millions data points, depending on type. In conclusion to this presentation, let's look at the summary that compares the two sensing technologies. As you have seen in the previous slides, optical sensors require no warm-up time to operate, which allows the user to start testing within seconds, compared to minutes in the electrochemical sensors. Due to the technological benefits, optical sensors offer higher accuracy and resolution, as well as require minimal to no maintenance and calibration. Contactless measurement through transparent glass or plastic is a unique feature that is only possible with optical sensors. Furthermore, they involve no sample consumption or stirring sensitivity, which are apparent disadvantages of their electrochemical counterparts. When it comes to size, optical sensors can be customized and miniaturized into micro and mini probes, which is a limitation on the electrochemical sensor side. And most importantly, when it comes to lifetime, in our experience, the optical sensors can last up to several years whereas their electrochemical opponents need replaced within months. 
This concludes my presentation. I hope that you learned some new and helpful information today. But if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to me by phone or email displayed on this slide. I thank you for your attention. Have a great rest of the day and happy oxygen testing.